Hi, Kim here from Keep Fit with Kim. Today's workout is a 15 minute walking workout. Before we start, please check around you. There's nothing you're gonna hurt your feet on or trip over or bash into. You only need the space of your fitness mat. Anytime it seems too much for you, please make the steps smaller, leave out any arm movement. Take it to two steps. Don't worry too much if you're not on the same beat as me. Really doesn't matter. What matters is that you're moving. Well done. Let's add some arms. Right arm goes out to the side, out to the side, left arm. So trying to keep that at shoulder height if you can. If it's too much, by all means, make it smaller. I will give some slightly more advanced ex options for people that have been with me for a while or that are a bit more experienced but just want routines at this level. Back to singles. Swing the arms to little bicep curls. So taking the arms to the side, taking them side to side. Well done. Bring it forward for four, three, two, and back. Back to double steps, so those single, double arms even. Side arms. Back to singles with a bicep curl. Now if you've got room, bring it forward to me for four, three, or two, if you can only make two, that's fine. If you've got lots of space, you can make it nice and big. I do that, I come off camera. So keep it at your level. You might only want to do two bigger ones, two forward, two back. Take it to side steps, two. Arm out, well done. If that's getting too much for you, leave the step, leave that out. Don't overdo it. Remember, we're trying to get through to the end of the 15 minute workout. So you've got to pace yourself. If you're already breathless, it's too much for you. Well done. The legs wide, just tap side to side. Well done. Feel a little knee bend if you wish. Adding a little bit more of a knee bend if you can. So you have a choice. If you're a beginner, you can keep it nice and low. If you're not, you can bend in the middle of a little squat. Your choice. We're gonna take that foot behind. So just a little tap behind. I'll turn so you can see. Tap, tap, tap. Now you have a choice to keep it there or you can do a kickback. So I'm gonna turn so you can see. Aiming the hand towards the other foot. I can just about touch it one side. You're only aiming it towards, doesn't matter if you can't touch it. Quite hard for the balance here, particularly at this fairly low speed. So if that's no good for you, keep it here. A little touch, just touching the toe behind. Feeling it in the front of the thighs, getting that balance. Back to the toe taps. So you can add an arm if you wish. So you're reaching up, or you can just lift the shoulder, or you can just stay with the legs if you need to catch your breath. Twitch it across. So you a little twist in the hip as I do this, pointing the toe out. So 
Again, you can keep it small if you want. Reaching up. Eight more. Well done. You're doing great. Really, you are. And across the body. If you're finding it too much, just keep it small. That's fine too. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so you can see what I'm trying to aim for. Take that toe in front, touch across. So those that want to, can take the foot up and touch the foot, open the foot, hoping the, the hip out. Now, if you're not lifting the foot up, try and open out the hip. Turning out, turning out, turning out. Twist. Doesn't matter if it's a very, very small twist. Just aim for that twist. Work the muscles in your hips. Four more. Whichever version you want to do. Let's take it back to the toe taps. Arms up if you want, or shoulders, or just stay with the feet. Well done. Knee bend in between if you want. If you really want to make it harder, let's take it across with a twist. So again, it could be here. This is fine too. Or a big twist. Make sure you're moving your feet to a position where your ankles are comfortable though. If it's hurting your ankles, you need to adapt your foot position, maybe make it a bit smaller. Back to side tap, loose the arms for a moment. Tap behind. Really thinking about opening out the hip. Now those that want to, kick out back behind and keep moving through to the next track. Well done. Up to the side, little side arms. So this routine has the grapevine in it. If it totally confuses you, don't worry. Just go with a double step, watch what we're doing, and then when you join me in another video, you can have another go at doing the grapevine. Lifting the arms out to the side, just relax shoulders. Let's take it to two steps with a push for the arm. And the other side, well done. Change the arms to swim with the arms, so swim and pull. Step together, step and touch. Step together, step and tap. Step together, step and tap. The grapevine. We cross behind in the middle. So if you know how to do it, keep going. I'm going to turn around in a moment and show those of you that don't know. If you can't do it, please stick with the double step, just add the arms. So it's step, cross behind, step, and tap, step, cross behind, step, and tap, step, cross behind. If you tap in front, cross in front, your balance goes, so it's much better to stand back. So we're gonna add a little more definite tap on the end. Or knee lift if you want to. Again, your choice. Do what feels right with the arms. If you don't like my arms, <laughs> I'm stuck with them, I have no choice. <laughs> Go back to the double side steps. Maybe keep it a bit smaller if you need to. Catch your breath. If you don't need to catch your breath, keep it bigger. Maybe a little hop in the middle. If you want to just add a little bit of impact, but you can keep it low. It is to catch your breath. So it might be tiny. Or it might be big. <laughs> really fell off the end of the mat then. 
Let's go back to the grapevine. And tap. I'm going to keep the leg low this time and I'm going to change the arms. Arm up, up, down. So that's quite difficult. Side, up, side, down. So you might want to just go with a double step. Keep it small, work on the arms. But if you can do the grapevine as well, you're going to challenge your brain and your body. Depends how good you are at the grapevine. If that really is too much, you could maybe just try the arms with the feet. Or just join me this way anyway. Quite hard on the arms. Shake them out. Just doing a jogger's walk with me. Move across to the left side of your mat. We're going to go back to that double step or grapevine. Cross, step. Nice and slow, catch your breath. Taking your arms above your head really works the heart quite hard, particularly if you're unfit. Go up to speed, if you want. If you'd rather stay half time or do double steps, that's your choice. Well done. You're doing great. You really are. If you're still here with me, pace yourself. Get to the end of the workout. I'm quite warm already, and it's a cold day here in England. Let's take it to heel lifts. Try side and in front, and in front, out, up, out, and in front. Couple more, make it go through the gap. Well done. We're going to start to bring our heart rate down now. So just slowly lifting the heels, coming up onto the ball of the foot, nice and slow and controlled, pulling the belly in. Pushing the heel into the ground, lifting the other foot up. Well done. Let's take a swing across the body. So a little bit of balance here. If that doesn't work for you, touch your toe to the floor. Well done. But if you can, do it on one leg. Keep the knee soft. Shoulders relax, arms swing gently. Heels up, joggers walk. Nice and slow though. Try and keep the hips as level as you can. If you're not sticking the hips out to the side, we're keeping them level. Pulling in your belly, keep breathing. look down at your feet. Are your feet directly under your hips or have you taken them a bit wider? Are your feet turning out? Doing this move slowly you're really going to feel it. Have a quick look at your knees. Are they coming straight forward or are they coming across the body or sticking outwards? Let's take that kick or tap. Cross. Swing the arms however is comfortable for you. I find swinging them across the body like this really helps my balance. But if you'd rather keep them on your waist or let them just swing naturally, that's fine too. Back to those heel raises. Really massaging the feet into the mat. Very soft, slow, gentle bicep curl if you wish. Alternating heels, just alternating. Ready for that swing and balance, or tap. Remember we're cooling the body down now, but we want to keep moving, getting our heart rate back to normal if you need to.
Let's finish with a stretch today. Usual stretch we do just to give the calves a little bit of a stretch. I'm going to start by just lifting up the heels and taking one heel back, bringing it in. Push that heel all the way into the mat, bring it in. And then I'm going to ask you to hold that right heel down into the mat. Watch they're both fa facing forward. If you find that you're wobbling a bit, take that front foot wider. And we're trying to keep the hips facing me at the front. I'm going to turn again sideways so you can see. So we don't want this sort of movement. I want the body facing the same way. Have a look at what's going on with your knee, knees above the ankle. Wherever that stretch is felt in the calf for you, or even whenever you feel the stretch in the calf. <laughs> well done. Sometimes I have trouble with my words. Okay, let's change sides. Let's just start by tapping back. Did the right leg the first time. Remember which leg you did. We want to stretch both, have evenness in both sides of the body. Watch you've got your balance. That nice straight line. You can't see anything when I do it that way. Try and relax your head down. Once you're in position, don't look at me. Look down or look forward, relax. Feel what's going on with your body. Are you feeling the stretch in the calf? If not, maybe adjust the foot, turn the heel out a little bit. Feel it where you feel you need it, but front knee above the ankle, between the ankle and the toe. The knee should be, shouldn't be dropping in. So what I mean by dropping in, it shouldn't be here, it should be straight forward. Have a look and see. Well done, shake out your legs. That's all for today. I'm so pleased you made it to the end of the workout. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.